Um, so what we are going to do in the next case is we are going to see a little script about uh, R. So we have a, a table uh, that is having uh, 50 plus uh, kings of England and the age at which these kings died. So yeah, you say it might be not really a business-like example, but it's good. So we have a table of the kings and we'll be taking uh, into our calculation 42 kings, import a table, we will then run a script. Actually, this has all been uh, done uh, before to make things run faster. And uh, this is, you see, the out result is a table. So how do we get this? There is a source and in this source there is a script, SQL script that uh, executes this. So if I go now back way and I copy this to my R to see, uh, I paste it. Now I'm going to do step by step. So first I'm loading this from the web. Then I'm adding uh, kings to a time series. Then I'm adding uh, differentiations and I'll be doing uh, plotting it, so it is here, and I'm loading library that we need. I'm creating a model uh, with a, a RIMA forecasting, and I do the same and get the out result. I just write view out. This is what I should get. Actually, this, uh, this is a table I should get, and this has a high-low values. Uh, in R as well as here, the same script gets the same result. Now, see this was forecasting in R and said that after this uh, was a non-seasonal uh, series, uh, time is not related because it has 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 42 members, then we can predict that the next king will live 68 years. So if we are using the same functionality as we did in the previous case and say, uh, okay, let's predict. The forecasting says, okay, uh, forecast five periods. I have also five results here. Ignore last points, no. Confusion is at 95 and there is no seasonality. I just say apply. So what uh, Power BI visual will tell me, it's actually the same. 68 years is the age of this king. So the source is the source is the same, but how I calculate it, this is as a part of the visual, and this was done through our script. The, we applied a part of the RIMA function. A RIMA function is very popular for doing the forecast, and this is uh, being executed by parameter 0, 1, 1. There are some parameters, I would not explain this, but actually these are the parameters for exponential smoothing type of function, which is used in Power BI. This is a function that calculates, uh, predicts the future values uh, where the more stress is done on the latest uh, period, exponential smoothing. If we would say this is, uh, let's say, a seasonal uh, line, then we will get a different result, but that's not true, okay? And this is the right result. Um, 